difference between being a celebrity and not is how many people are watching you. I was blessed to walk down the aisle as a bridesmaid for a friend who just happens to be regularly watched by hundreds of thousands of people. It didn't matter so much that I have terrible posture and protruding front teeth because seriously, no one was pulling their phones out to snap my photo, except my close friends, thank you lady. All eyes were on the bride and the celebrities that surrounded her. They could not have a hair out of place or a smear of makeup. Why? Because the next day their face was plastered across the internet and every word they said was critiqued by onlookers. Don't get me wrong, I had a blast being made up by two stylists and wearing a designer dress that had been perfectly fitted for me. I enjoyed rubbing shoulders with women who turned heads as they walked past, but what I really enjoyed was the coffees and late night chats when the cameras were out of sight. I loved hearing their ordinary stories of daily life and struggles and being able to encourage them like I would my friends back home. I took my DSLR with me to Manila, but I didn't take one photo. As soon as I stepped off the plane, I realised I wasn't there to watch these celebrities. I was there to listen, not to the broadcasted speeches, but to their hearts. As onlookers, we tend to be fascinated by their lifestyles, perhaps even jealous, giving ourselves permission to be critical, even celebrating their fails. But what I saw was a group of people who work long hours and make many sacrifices to be where they are. And they need just as much encouragement as us perhaps even more.